Hello folks and welcome back to Alder's Blood. Last time we basically helped out the Wright family quite a bit. House Wright, House Wright was helped quite a bit. Right now we're going to head and finish off with the Barker's, encamp Barker's encampment stuff over here. Because there are quests everywhere for us right now. Vernon Lynch wants to talk to us there. Cora wants to talk to us there. We might do Cora's on the way back up. More Myron Wright stuff. But hail Duke and you are. Anyway. 36 over there. Let's go. If the morale was low last time we were here, it's hit rock bottom since. Ashmore needs to get his men out of here, or there will be deaths. A good many deaths. Duke thinks he can talk some sense into his warship he used to call friend. I remain unconvinced. Duke. Hail, Duke. And you are? A fellow friend of Duke. You can call me Chief. I know the hour must be difficult, General, but we need to speak. Someone pointed out that Duke looks kind of like Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne vibes. Hmm, difficult, yes, but I'll mind my duties, Duke. I don't succumb to agony, not in the thick of this campaign. Yes. I'm glad to hear it, but Ulysses, I must warn you. I believe this campaign to be unwise. Please do not misunderstand me, for I know that your intentions are pure. But it is a grave error. This death march. The stakes are too high, and the wilds teem with newborn madness. Nonsense, Duke. Remember our battle at the Belly Ford? Only fire and sword will break these beasts. No. no, not this time. We are not at the Belly Ford. This time it is our line that will be broken, and not by fire and sword, but by claw and fang. Shut up. Shut up. Don't lecture me on war, old friend. I will claim victory in the wilds. I will deliver the city, just as my forefathers did. The cradle will witness our legacy before House Ashmore falls. I will wrest her future from the jaws of ruin. And you will do all this just to feed your vanity. Duke. Duke, you were a good friend once. As a courtesy, I won't execute you for this outburst, but my mercy is spent. Cross me again and I will end you myself. Come, Duke, let's go. I grabbed Duke and pulled him from the general's tent. The stench of fear hung low in the open air, thicker than before. We made our way toward the edges of the settlement in silence. Our brooding was interrupted when trumpets blasted over the soft clamor of the campsite, a signal to move. It seemed Ashmore would wait no longer. He demanded revenge for his son, despite the toll it would incur. Talk to Duke. It is as I feared. He's not the man I once knew, Chief. I'm sorry, Duke, but at least he didn't hang us, eh? Excuse me, sirs, but I did overhear that one of you is named Duke. Yes, ma'am, this is Duke, but we are no lords. Can we help you? As a matter of fact, I think you can, but we shouldn't dally here. The soldiers will be on the move soon. Please, follow me. The nurse was unlike any I'd seen before. There was something in the way she carried herself, some self-confidence not usually found in her profession, especially not in a place like this. The uniform was non-standard as well. Could she have been a member of this Leaves faction? Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, for your willingness to talk with me. I suppose I should formally introduce myself. My name is Lady Edith Ashmore. I am the wife of the general. My lady? You didn't know, I'm sorry. Don't worry, don't worry my dear. I don't care much for the etiquette afforded by my station. Duke, do you mind if I call you that? My lady. Of course, my lady. This name has been seen me through many trials and ventures. I am accustomed to it by now. My husband told me about you about your travels together during the war. I know that your last conversation was likely difficult. You have to understand that everyone grieves in his own way. I know, I know my lady, but your husband's current way will only kill more young boys like your son. I, I understand this. That's why I approached you. I know that my husband's wrath will take more children from their mothers. We cannot stop him, but if we can help him to make the lives of his followers better in some small ways. I run a guild known as the Leaves. We organize hospitals and shelters, collect food for the poor, that sort of thing. Nowadays, our help is needed more than ever. A noble cause, my lady, but I don't know that we can help with your charity. We are hunters, not cooks. Of course. I'm not asking you to cook after our soup. Look after our soup. Look, my husband's bloodthirsty campaign has stretched our supply lines dangerously thin. I've done what I can, but it would seem we are at our limits. I don't know when Ulysses will fulfill his vengeance, but until that hour, the soldiers will starve. Before long, they'll pillage nearby villages for food. If you help me secure our supply lines, I'll speak with my husband. See if I can't soften him to your cause. Where do you source your supply? At the inn, King's Rest, near the crossroads. I know it. I'll see what I can do then. Talk to Cora Griggs at the inn. Well, good, because that's going to where we're going anyway. Now, the idea is that if I send people to the crown, let me send... I'll send a squad to the crown. If I send a squad to the crown...
Okay, they're, they're there. If we move... You're not crafting. Uh, back. No, that sacrifice. Eh. Back. It's back. It's misclicked. Thank you, car. Takes, we, take, we consume half the food. We arrive at the crown. Camp. Hunter's party. Hunter's in caravan. You're here anyway. <laughs> I just, I just you, as long as you're traveling via the crown, you can travel for free. Uh, you can grab this lot for free. We, we just save some food. Sure. Um, in new hunters, we can get Aubrey, Ashdown, Oris, Goodwin. Oh yeah, we got these people before, didn't we? Yes, we did. In the person, I have no idea why you're you're so expensive. Unless symbol of the night is going to be really expensive, I don't know why your stats are so. It's so ludicrously high. Um. Anyway, let's move on. Embark to the inn. Our loved ones or supply problem. Chief. Welcome, Hunter. Sorry, but I won't be able to take care of you personally at the moment. We're at the middle of a small crisis with our supply lines. That's why we're here. Lady Ashmore sent us to ensure that the provisions travel without issue. Thank you. It is kind of a hurt to send. It's, yeah, it is kind of her to lend your aid. But you're only few. Don't get me wrong. I know you are capable of great deeds. However, if Lady Ashmore understood the problem, she would have sent a hundred men. The caravans are many for such a shipment, and the beasts will be many more. It's outside her power. She does not command a hundred men. Then I'm sorry, Hunter, but we'll need to find another way. I understand that the need is desperate, but it will not do the army any good for the supplies and suppliers to fill the bellies of the beasts. What about the market? The market? What about it? I don't understand your meaning. When we last visited the market, nobody seemed the least bit nervous about the beasts attacking. The villagers of the Rattle, on the other hand, always keep a fearful eye on the tree line. So what does the market seem so say what makes the market so much safer? What's their secret? To be completely honest, I've never thought much about it. I've always seen the proper way, as long as I can remember. You should ask an elder or one who remembers older times. Why did we speak with Moore about this? He's a member of the council, minister of coin, if I'm not mistaken. He's likely the man with the most control over the market. He should know a thing or two about its histories. He rode away to the Sorrows. Let's hope we can catch up with him. Let's do a mission here. Chief, can you talk for a second? Of course, what is it? It's about my da. Been a cold year since he died and never once made it out to see his grave. It might sound silly to ask, but please, would you take me there? Where did you bury him? Is there no cemetery near the inn? There is, but my father had a particular plot in mind. I don't know the reason, but I think it had something to do with my mother. The place is called Moon's Eye. It's a beautiful lake, but now I fear it may be too dangerous to venture alone. You would be right, but I will help you make the journey. Pack up, we'll leave at once. So we can go over all the way up to the Sorrows. Uh, Wretches, Barker's Encampment, Tower of Love, to the outskirts. Oh, good lord. All the way over there. 72 food to get all the way over there. Fine. It's almost half my food gone there in a single journey. Let's take B. Let's take B squad. Five hundred XP for this. Uh change equipment. Arthur Brewer. Arthur Brewer, your your stamina is already what? Your stamina is already forty-five. So we can get your stamina up a bit more. That's that's what the symbol of the night is. Or you can get your health up a bit more. Uh items wise. Flash grenade. Blood needles. Phantom Blades. Alluring Mirror, a Lullaby, a Frag Grenade. Take a Lullaby. Uh, Silas, you got that Silence thing, you got that thing over there. Cool, 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 cool. Arthur Brewer needs a, needs a charm. Take your Symbol of the Night. Uh, also gonna take some charming or is it is it was it uh hangman's finger isn't it yeah a couple of hangman's fingers get the extra items out um what can we if we wanted to camp here what's the okay let's, let's go for the you need 40 okay 
by yourself you can't do that right no 25 by yourself but 84 32 84 63 okay so it's u and u 63 49 you and you you go there uh gleb and renoir Quick way today is to fill up on food and get those things grabbed up. Confirm. Go equipment. So Arthur Brewer, get a hangman's finger and get a uh, get some phantom blades. Actually, who's going to be at phantom blades? You got a shot. You got the yeah. So you got the. Let's get that for you because I think that might be more useful. In the long run. You could actually lose that as well, couldn't you? If you lose the pistol. Because now that you've got Phantom's Blades, which actually takes less stamina to fire, makes no noise, and does more damage. So, you get an extra item as well. Which in their case will be... Hunting that. Um, Silas the Brewer. Get a hangman's finger, and you can get you can take uh, you can take the blood needles because sure why not, right? Embark, not embark, not embark, not embark. Our loved ones. Good start mission. It's an assassination. The innkeeper asked us to escort her to her father's grave. How could we refuse? The tombstone overlooks a tarn called Moon's Eye, and a beast activity has increased here recently. I'll we'll have to eradicate all the monsters in the area. All of them? Do I actually get to kill things? Stay here. Monster's just ahead. Alright. Be careful, Hunter. Go deeper into the woods. Accidental. It was not meant to be happening going that far. Uh, too many games doing different things to move cameras. Alright. Silas. Kill all the beasts in the area, six left. One, two, three, four, five, six, potentially. What well, you can't kill watchers, so it's not that it's definitely not a watcher. Okay, so Make a wish. Arthur, can you get over there? Yeah, you can. Now you can't see me. If you chuck a pebble, make this guy come over here. Here comes the pain. This actually might be a a time where we actually want to get people to come towards us. Uh, blood needles. Oh, really? Has to be this close? Damn, that's, inc that's inconvenient. Um, Make a wish. Okay. Come say hi over here, buddy. A little bit further. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, hello. We'll get you down. Ready when you are, Chief. Here let's, get, let's get you turning the other way. Uh, okay, Silas. Beat this guy up here. Here comes the pain. Bleeding. Step back over there. Uh, Arthur, can you just go... Can you crushing blow this guy? Cost you all your stamina to go that far. So you cannot. Uh, you can move over here, though. You got that thing. So audible range is 10, though. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you can probably hear it, right? And there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm trying to figure out if you can hear one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Is that what's happening here? Precise shot does 80 damage. Will definitely kill. Not you. Other one. Uh, you can reload and still have stamina left over. Good. Renoir just did a good. Renoir just did a very good. Uh, right, okay. So far... Uh, technically one down, but you're going to get basically banished next turn. Uh, you could banish or you can get... I guess uh, Arthur just... Lullaby... Hang on. Uh, Silas, can you go over here and just slam this guy again, please? Here comes the pain. You're bleeding. No, 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 no. Make a wish. Arthur. Here comes the pain. Ooh, twenty-two. Getting Back into hiding. We've got a little bit of stamina left. Good. You can't see me. Good. Uh, rest for another moment. We've got two down. Four to go. We want to attract people into this uh, into this line of sight now. Okay. Is that a, okay? You can go in there. And I think you can just snipe shot this guy immediately. God's will. Reload. Good. Okay. Make Three left. Yeah, yeah. Moving. Going dark. Here's one of you as well. There's a floater over there. Right. I want. You to get a track. Where are you? Over there. Get attracted down here. Here comes the pain. You're gonna basically hit this guy with an arrow with a, with a harpoon launch. Um, I'm here, Chief. Cool. It's got a range of ten as well. So I want to give this a shot next turn as well. Uh, right. Hello. Ooh. Close. It's, right, so it's one Shrieker and two of these guys. Can you just put a thing right in its face? It's already dead. Not quite. Ready when you are, Can you finish the job? Yeah. Here comes the pain. Ha. Cool, that worked okay. You're right, because it's you there and you there, right? Can you just bring him out over here, please? It's already dead. Okay, that's not far enough. One more then over this way. It's already dead. There you go. That person definitely, definitely wants to keep going back this way. So you're basically right over there, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Uh, okay, so can we get you to turn around a bit? We can get you to turn around. Because what we can do is we can get you, Silas, to basically it's already dead. knock you down. That does work. You're down for a turn. 96 days. You take very little damage from this, so go back into hiding for a turn. Um, you can move over here. Yep, you can. Good. And there's only two left, right? Yeah, so it's this guy over here. Can you get him to come this way? Please. Thank you. I don't know got a sniper shot with your face on it. With your face on it? With your name on it?
Okay, Silas. Yeah, yeah. Banish. Here comes the pain. <laughs> this one's for you, Chief. Back Let there, Silas. Right now. I'm here, Chief. Arthur. Flip it's this around. That's currently asleep, thankfully. Pear flesh. That's a big one. Cool and. Go back into hiding, and you can also hit from. You can, do, you can find him blades. Here comes the pain. Which means, hopefully, your shot can just get the kill. My duty there you go. <laughs> Examine the grave. Okay, so you can reload. You've got to wait a turn, essentially, because the stalker is still around, I think. Yeah, so we'll wait a turn. Stalker, watcher. And now you can't see me. We'll have to wait a turn, because you're going to basically up and down for a second. I don't think there's anyone else around, but I still don't want to get a yell that by that watcher thing. Okay, there you go. Boop. I'm here, Chief. Silas. It says, forgiveness, and even after I am gone, remember I will always look after you. Ma'am, it's safe. You can come out. Ah, the watch is still looking at the grave, but that is relatively safe. Cool, and Renoir gets their XP. Thank you, Chief. It meant a great deal to me. No problem. Should we get back to the inn? Yes, please. You travel to the inn, straightly. That would be very good if you do that for free. Yes, we do. Thank you. Chief, I have something for you. For all the trouble. You don't have to, Cora. We're friends, and we're glad we could help. No, really. I take it. I want you to have it. It's another one of my father's war treasures, and truth be told, it's more use in your hands than mine. I think he'd want you to have it, to show it some action again. I'd be honored to keep it. Marksman, another marksman's rifle. Nice! That's a very good weapon. That is a very good weapon. Guaranteed 80. It's a guaranteed kill against streakers. Hey, Chief. Ruth is inside asking for you. That's not the button I intended to hit. Sorry. Thanks, I'll go to her. You find Ruth scurrying between several tables in the main hall. An assortment of medical supplies and tools are scattered over the scene. Ruth scowls as she rummages through the mess. How am I supposed to heal up the simplest supplies? You, Chief, come here and make yourself useful for once. Hello, Ruth. It's nice to see you too. How can I help? I need penicillin. Do you know what it is? I imagine not. We have some sick in the inn and I ran out of supplies. The city won't help, of course. They don't sell provisions like that at the market. Sorry to interrupt, but I think I know how to help. Do you now? There's a plant we hunters use to deal with deeper wounds. We call it sour root. We have a small store, but it is dried and preserved. Could be harmful for humans. We will need to find a fresh batch. Sour root, white root, long, blade-like leaves? That's the one. If you know of any nearby growths, we'll fetch some for you right away. Try the Yonbosk. You might have luck there. Sour root, used to use it as a spice. Never knew of its healing properties. Of course you didn't. Such interests are taboo. Taboo or not, this can save lives. Oh, how I hate the city. I'll go then, child. Don't come back without that route. At your command, ma'am. Uh, anything we want to go here? Spike trap, ether, medkit. Medkit would be helpful. Grabbing a medkit would be helpful. I've got, I got, I got spare money like crazy as well, so... I'm going to grab medkit and a bunch of the food as well. Don't worry about... I can, can I sell? Oh, again, I can sell stuff. Ooh, hold the phone. I can sell. What can I sell? Three hundred for the marksman's rifle. One hundred for the hunter's pistol. Which I've got two of. I could, but why would I bother? You know. Yeah. Uh. Right. Uh, no. I want you. Hi. Renoir. Sup. Lazy lamb. Self-defense, which is increased guarding skills. Which is helpful. Keep the increased guarding skills, buddy. That works for me. Um, you've got a weakness to chemical, but that's the inherent to you. Arthur, Silas. Does anyone in the main team want the gun? Morton, do you want to change that to a marksman's rifle? Because I think I generally think I prefer this marksman's rifle to the shotgun. The audible range is the same. You just have way more range. And you get to you get to do the double shot, sure, but here you get to shoot a, shoot. At 60 to 120, 
at range 10 or 80 damage flat consistent 80 damage at range 30 which is crazy range so yeah get that marksman's rifle bob still got that massive sword again kind of want to give you the can I, can I craft phantom blades uh cramp crafting wagon items i can craft phantom blades which we will do so because that's actually that was fairly useful for someone like bob so you lose the you lose the pistol so you don't smell as much and you get you don't have to use it all the time it's just there for those three shots when you need it uh camping tasks we only need four of you so actually it's irrelevant there's no point in all of you basically scavenge because there's complete total safety here arthur can do it by himself wait that day go to confirm and go to equipment go to Bob, Bob, take a hunter's knife and take the phantom blades. Also means your smell range is really strong now, which is very, very good. Good. I'm liking that. Anyway, uh, embark. What time is it? You got time for maybe one thing, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, that's, that's like requires stuff. So I'm going to do this quickly. Um, I'm going to take a squad out. I'm going to take a squad out for this. You know, there you go. I'll take A squad out for this. So, no, I won't. I'll take B squad. B squad needs to level up still. So, I'll put A squad to the base. I'll embark. Embark to Jan Vosk. On the way back, we'll swing by the, the crown and pick them up. Ooh, corruption rising for a noir now. Pick up. So you gotta pick up some things, hopefully without killing anything. Fingers crossed. Picking up some roots. These roots should be close by now. Look around. While well, looking around, is something that's going up there. Anything? High darkness activity. That's not boding well for anybody. Renoir, please. There's one. Pick up the sour root, obtain another sour root, and then go for one more. And then Arthur Brewer over there. Venomous Shrieker, Young Brawler. There's one over there, there's one over there, and there's no indication of another at the moment. There's three enemies here. Christ above. That's not great, is it? No. I guess we'll let them go that way. Hopefully. Undying darkness. That's not helpful. Oh god, the exfil is up there? Really? Okay, so it's a long distance. There's this and this one. And the exfil is all the way up here. So there's going to be other stuff along the way. Right, well. Looking over there. Looking over there. Okay. Grab that. Good. Back away. Quick. Let's go to that. This is gonna be a problem though. Right. Uh Silas. Yeah, yeah. Right, over there, young shrieker, venomous shrieker. Arthur. Right, okay. Renoir's got a massive... Okay. Ten would probably wake you up. And here. Back up. Okay. 
Silas could probably just make it over here, right? Yeah, no problem. 